how to add a currency converter in Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add a currency converter to your Shopify store. So the way that we're going to be doing this is for any type of product, I want to have the option for my customers to see the price in different currencies. You will see that the price is currently displayed in RS, but let's say I want to add multiple different currency options. You might try to do this in your settings and when you are setting up your pricing, you might want to alter your location to set up a different currency. However, if you set up a different currency, for example, for certain markets, although it's going to make it a different currency for that market, it's not going to apply it globally. So for international users, let's say I want to uh, change that so I can go ahead and, you know, enable Shopify payments and then change the currency. However, if you're not using Shopify payments or you don't want to have only one currency option, you want to have multiple currency options, you can use a Shopify add-on application. To do this, click on settings on the bottom left and then click on apps and sales channels on the left. Then click on Shopify app store on the top right. Once you do that, you're going to go into the search bar and search for currency converter. Now you have multiple different currency converters. There are a lot of different applications available. I really like Bux and Nova. These two are really nice and you will see they have really great ratings as well. I'll show you guys an overview of all of the popular currency converters in Shopify. So we're just going to open all of these up and I'll just show you guys the different features that all of them do provide on their free versions. The first up, we have Webrex, which is a currency converter applications uh, application. Their free version has a customized drop down, 200 iOS currencies, Shopify payments, markets, cart notifications, live exchange rates, and live chat support. Then on the premium version, you can change market country, market countries, currencies, as well as auto switch by location. Then Nova, which is a free converter, has all of their features for free. You will see over here, it allows you to automatically or manually add a currency switcher based on your customer's location. It has currencies from over 130 countries globally. Now, after that, we also have the best currency converter, the free version allows you to add upwards of five currencies. Then we have Bux, which is Bux Currency Converter Pro. This has been built for Shopify. And if you take a look at its features, they're pretty nice. They're pretty much like Nova. They have automatic conversions, convert prices automatically to local currency. You have 24 assistants, 24 seven assistants. You also have checkout conversion, full Shopify market support as well. Then you have the Currency Converter Plus, which is $9.99 per month, and there is a free trial. And their features include IP geolocation from high quality IP databases with constant updates and availability of over 222 currencies. And then we have the CVC Multi Currency Converter. This particular currency converter has amazing features such as IP geolocation, AI language translations, as well as converting prices, shipping fees, and discounts to preferred currency. Now let's get started and let's pick out a application. You really can use whichever one you prefer. I like all of these pretty much uh, the same. I would personally recommend either Bux, Webrex, or Nova. These are, you know, the top performers, I would say. So the one that I am going to be using, I think we're going to be using Webrex. So we're just going to click on install over here. And once we click on install over here, I'm just going to click on install once more. And once we click on install once more, the Webrex application will be installed onto our Shopify store. And then from here, we can proceed with the setup of the application into our store. So you guys can see you have to integrate the app with your store and you will see over here, navigate to store default, click on the three dots. You have to go into settings, copy and paste the modified money formats to HTML with currency. You're going to have to go into general slash settings over here. Just click on this link. Then after that, you have to scroll to your store defaults. Over here, you will see in your store defaults, you have currencies and you're going to click on these three dots. 
And once you click on these three dots, you're going to change the currency formatting like this. Once you do that, you're going to copy the modified money formats to HTML with currency. So this is HTML with currency, and I'm just going to paste it over here. And then the second one you're going to copy and then paste it over here on the second box. Once you have done that, you're going to click on save on the bottom. And once you have done that, just wait a couple of seconds and then click on verify. And the WebRex application is going to check whether or not your integration has been completed. It's just going to say integrated successfully and you can just click on next. Once you click on next over here, you're going to enable the application. To do this, just click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store on the left, click on customize on the current theme of your Shopify store. Once you click on customize, you're going to view the Shopify store editor. Click on app embeds on the leftmost menu bar and turn on currency converter. Then click on save on the top right and then exit back into your application installation. So we're going to go back into the WebRex converter over here. Once we've enabled that, we're going to click on next. And then you're going to have some of the features that you need. You can add currency conversion. And then I'm just going to click on next over here. And then you can just proceed with the free version and click on finish. Once you do that, you can set up the countries as well as the currencies that you want to display. So click on country and you will see the currency, symbol, visibility, price rounding, manual rates, and more. You can click on the pencil icon on the right. You can see you have your currency settings and you can override price rounding as well as change the money formatting. You can click on add market country and or you can resync your market countries and then customize, uh, you know, different currencies. We have our non-market countries over here where we have USD that has been added. Let's say for the United States, I want to display prices and maybe not USD. I want to place them in AUD and then I can add the symbol for AUD and then just click on update over here and you can change currencies for any of the market or non-market countries that you have added into your Shopify store. Now, this is my active market and this is, you know, my secondary markets that are currently non-active. You can uh, go on ahead and update them in your regular Shopify settings to convert them into an active market. Now, below that, you have a drop down. Now, in your drop down, you can customize the from and amount over here. You have the text size. You have settings as well as country display settings and different types of currencies. And after that, you're going to go into targeting and then just click on save settings over here on the bottom right. Customers can then, you know, convert the currency like this. Then after that, you can go into your checkout notification and just make sure everything is set up correctly. Now go into your online store and you can preview different currencies in your store. You can see that currently the prices are in PKR and I can click on the bottom right, click on CAD. And now they are in Canadian dollars. And just like that, you can add an amazing and simple to use currency converter to your Shopify store. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video.